step one, remove the brake caliper. So these bolts have a 12 mil socket and I just pop, pop the bolts back in their holes so I don't lose them. So I've got uneven wear here where one of the brake pads has worn slightly more than the other which might, um, if that is the case, um, they're quite similar actually. If that were the case what it would be would be that these sliders would need uh, re-greasing with rubber grease but I'll show you that in a bit. So I need to remove this clip. Try and persuade it out. There we go. And the other clip. And then it's a question of removing the peg. And the old ones here are out. Um, there's still quite a lot of wear left on those, but I'm going to replace them because I've got some some better ones anyway. So these are the uh, EBC FA181TT if you want to look them up and you'll be able to find a set of those. Um, but the next most important job is to clean all inside here and make sure that everything's moving properly. Next step is to push back the pistons. They should push back reasonably easily. So now we remove the slider part. Should just pull out. There we go. And a small amount of rubber grease on both the sliders. This one here. You don't need a lot. Just enough. And and this one here. Just need to coat it. But it's got to be rubber grease because you don't want to corrode the rubber parts. Push it back in. Obviously what that slider does is it allows the whole thing to move left and right and it prevents you getting uneven wear on your, on your pads. Make sure I don't get any of this spray on the rotor, obviously. Quick clean up of the peg. A bit of regular grease. Peg back in. I tend to put a little bit of grease on these um, on the threads of these bolts. Give it a bit of a clean up while I'm here. Just clean a few bits. I mean, it's a Himalayan, I don't bother keeping it immaculate. And I'll write, it's a daily rider, so I try and keep the salt and crap off, but I don't keep it immaculate. And then pump the front brake a few times just to make sure it tightens up. Seems to be working. Obviously um, you need to be careful when you first start, just uh, take it easy at first just while the glaze comes off the off the brake pads, but brake them in slowly and it should be fine. Hopefully with these sintered brake pads it should be um, a lot better braking as well. Wow that was front brake only, although it was four fingers. I never used four fingers though. So what's my conclusion? Um, 
the cinder brakes are much better, much of an improvement, but they're not the two finger dream that I hoped for. <laughs> um, so, but even on that ride, they were improving as I went. So hopefully, when they bed in, I'll be able to use them two finger just on the highway generally, um, and not have to resort to four finger if I need to do a very quick stop. And it's really difficult to train yourself to switch between the two, two and four, or it is for me anyway. Um, so glad I made it. Glad I changed them. And uh, maybe I'll update you at some point on how they've bedded in. Thank you for watching.